Ali, police are looking for three cars at this point. It's a gold colored mini minivan, rather a black SUV and a gold sedan. Now they're sorry, a silver sedan, and uh, they are telling me now that they're looking for anyone in the neighborhood that may have had a ring camera and captured those cars leaving the scene. These shootings are senseless, you know, they're, they're heinous acts and they're, they're committed by cowards. Commander Jacqueline Pritchett says people were out enjoying Father's Day, barbecuing with their families when two shootings happened, one at a housing development and the other at Cranes Park just across the street. With the number of uh, spent casings inside the housing development as well as at the inside the park, then we are lucky there's only four victims. Police say the victims were three men and one woman. One of the men didn't make it. Another shooting happened on Dean just hours earlier. Pritchett says they're still investigating whether there is a connection. They still on Dean with that scene trying to figure out who got shot and why he got shot. Um, so right now I can't say that that shooting on Dean led to the shooting here in the housing development or inside the park. Last night, officers focused on consoling family members. They have yet to bring anyone into custody. Their loved one, you know, was fatally wounded and another person was shot. Um, so we were just walked away to calm them down. So there okay. were no arrests made as of yet. Pritchett wants people in the neighborhood to know any information they have is valuable. If you saw something, say something so we can do something. This needs to stop now. If you can help police, you can call in a tip anonymously at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News. Alex, thank you so much for that report.